Welcome to Angry Fan Sports. Subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Let's keep it pushing over here. Christy Sides, I'm so sick and tired of watching you coach this team. Like, it's literally ridiculous, man. You do realize how many eyes are watching y'all, right? You do realize when y'all go places or y'all playing at home, the arenas are sold out, right? Bro, y'all have the most exciting team in the WNBA. You have sprinters. You have winners. I understand you're not used to being a winner. You have winners. Aaliyah Boston's a winner. Caitlin Clark's a winner. Kelsey Mitchell runs fast. She's a winner. They're stuck playing underneath you. They are all saying in their post-game interviews, their tempo, their tempo. They want to run. Lexi wants to run. Timmy wants to run. Clark, Boston, Mitchell want to run. You are so adamant with walking the ball up the court and playing half-court offense. Why? Why are you so stuck on that? Y'all are very average when you play like that. The reason why y'all going on these winning streaks and why y'all are above 500 and are in the playoffs is because y'all were running. Did that coach of the month go to your head or something? You know you didn't earn that, right? You didn't earn that. You only got that because y'all was winning. Y'all was winning because y'all was running. And now here you go again, messing up. When you coached your way, y'all were one and nine. When Clark and them started running, they erased that whole deficit right there. To the point that they're over 500 right now. What is wrong with you? It's simple. You're over here worrying about power. Oh, we got to get the big man out of the ball. Aaliyah Boston likes to run also. If it's about the team winning, they're down to do whatever. She literally said that. Oh, we got to give Smith some looks. Smith ain't even running with them. She's jogging. She's, and then why is she starting over Timmy? Why? Timmy plays way better defense. She's hustling. She's running the floor. Let her start. Gee, like, we are all watching this. Instead of you messing up the flow of your players, because that's all you really be doing is messing things up. When the game is over and y'all lose, you're throwing the players under the bus. I wouldn't want to play for you either. You throw them under the bus constantly. I have yet to see you take any type of criticism and say, you know what, y'all are right, it's my fault. I've yet to see you do that yet this season, B. Every time something bad happens, you blame it on the on the uh, players. You are a bad coach. You are a bad coach. Go back to being an assistant or something like that. You have to. You're looking like a fool out here. You're helping the other teams win. You're literally helping them win. Why don't you go out, go out there and get a tech? You see how they following everybody? Everyone is following Caitlin Clark left and right. You don't, you don't review nothing. You ain't out there on the court spazzing out, wilding like you see other coaches doing. You don't even got their back. You don't even have their back. You, you got handed a Christmas present. You got the number one viewed basketball player right now. The most popular. You got Shaq talking about her. Barkley talking about her. Shannon Sharp talking about her. Everybody's talking about her. And you want her to adapt to your game. Why should she? Why should she listen to you? So you think you think people in college come up, have their whole career, boom, right there. Then they go to WNBA and got changed everything for, for the coach? I knew you was a problem, though. You know how I knew you was a problem? When I first seen you say, yeah, man, we got to break these bad habits, she... She's shooting these long threes. She need to take twos. Like, what are you talking about? She's known for that. She, you don't know what you're doing. You literally have no clue what you're doing. Show the team you got their back. Because I've yet to see it. I have yet to see it. And another thing. Another thing. Because I don't want to see you get punched in the face. But it's going to happen soon or later. Stop grabbing the players. The players. You're always snatching uh, Caitlin Clark wrist. When you try to talk to her, when she's walking past, you just snatch like she's your daughter. They're snatching the Leo. Bo They're going to snap on you one day. They're going to snap on you one day. Either that or Caitlin, Caitlin Clark moms be at the games. She's going to run up on you one day for doing that. It's very noticeable. We're all watching. See, here's the problem. WNBA, y'all so used to nobody watching y'all like that, that I don't even know how to handle it. Now you got all these eyes on y'all. And what is up with these referees? These referees are terrible. Why don't you go bark on them? Bark on them. Your play is over. She's going to mess around and get hurt. That's what's going to wind up happening. Clark is going to get hurt. The WNBA is so blind and so retarded. They would rather hurt the, the, the player who brought all the eyes to him than actually protect her. 
I have yet to see any suspensions being given out. No fines, no nothing. Most of the flagrant fouls have been on Clark. They are single-handedly trying to break her down because they are jealous of her. It's your job as a coach to be like, nah, we're not doing that. And you're not doing it. You're letting other coaches scream on you when you did nothing wrong. Other coaches telling you when to sub people. Like, what are you doing? You be in the way. You messed up a good thing. You could literally like go down as being a good coach, but you're too stubborn to realize it. It's sad. Like, it's literally sad. Instead of you running around on, on the sidelines looking like a fool, why don't you sit down and tell them, run. Caitlin, you got the ball. Go do what you do. You call timeouts at the wrong time. The team, the other team can score 15 points in a row. You will not call a timeout. You ain't trying to stop their momentum or nothing. But when Indiana's up, you want to call a timeout. Why? You're so thirsty to put Erica Wheeler in. Why? Erica Will don't need to be bringing the ball up the court. She's going to dribble 15 seconds, 20 seconds for nothing and then pass it last minute so someone has to force a shot up. That's not how you play. That's not how you play. Your team shouldn't be playing like that. You don't get that yet? Yo, Caitlin Clark, man, I'm going to be real with you. Your contract is up. You need to get up out of there, man. If they're not going to change, get up out of there. Aaliyah, Aaliyah, Bo Listen, I can't tell what to do. Get up out of there. This is not the coach. She's not going to do it. Unfortunately, she's not going to do it. She's going to constantly, constantly, constantly stay in the way. Point blank period, man. And this is sad to see. As a fan who didn't care about the WNBA, and I'm watching it now, I see why nobody cared about y'all. Y'all all petty. Y'all all catty. Doing all kinds of wild stuff. The referees is all compromised. Don't want to call foul on this team. Always want to call fouls on this team. It's ridiculous. They're calling phantom fouls out here. Like, they don't want to call flagrants on plays that are obvious. WNBA, the, the commissioner, you like the back and forth with, with, with Aaliyah and the, um, with Angel Reese and Clark for some weird reason. This girl just wants to play basketball. She's not involved with nothing else. She just wants to play basketball. And for whatever reason, y'all are like letting her get beat up out there and all that. If I'm her, I would leave WNBA. Go overseas and play. Forget it. If they're not going to gonna acknowledge your worth, then F them. Let them go back to not being watched again. You got to put your foot down, Clark. You got to put your foot down. And I know you'll be emotional. At times, you'll be throwing tantrums. At times, you'll be throwing tantrums. I know you're only 22, but you got to put your foot down, yo. Because you bought too much to this league to be getting treated like this. It's literally ridiculous. And it's, it's hard as a fan to watch. It's kind of hard to watch this at this point in time. I'm just saying, man. Christy sides, either step it up, you know what I'm saying, and get out of the way and run. Or like... Let them know, listen, man, y'all can leave when the contract's over. What's it going to make y'all the stupidest team in the WNBA for letting Clark go? You do realize that, right? All these views, ain't going to be no more packed out arenas. All that's going to go out the window. Y'all are literally destroying something great. And it's sad to watch. That's all I want to say. Subscribe to the channel if you like the content. Hey, if I'm up, I'm out. One.